Yeah, right, right. It's the daily vlog. It's the 14th one, I think. So I've done this now for two weeks. It's been kind of therapeutic in a way. I, it, it's nice to be focused in the morning before you leave and uh, think about what you're going to do. Yesterday I made a few a few new trolls. Uh, unfortunately, I've well, unfortunately and unfortunately, I've not got any new like real trolls bothering me at the minute. So don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'll probably dig out some old names and pop them on. Um, made another handball and a rat's head bauble and an abominable snowman. So all in all, a pretty productive day. Um, obviously, they'd all been skinned last week, been drying. Because it's cold, it now takes longer to dry the skins out as well. So that was, uh, that's all been waiting to dry. That was dry yesterday. So I did some of them. Um, today, I'll be making some bits for the market. Got a market this weekend at the clay factory in Ivy Bridge. The postcode is PL210EZ. If you're in uh, Devon or Cornwall and fancy coming along, um, that's on Saturday. Uh, don't really know what else. I'm putting in a piece of art into the... We're having an exhibition there as well the night before. So I'm putting in a piece into that, which I think will be good. I might put in a couple of things if I can. Um, I've not really been having any sort of weird, weird thoughts this morning either. You know, I've not really been thinking about anything. So... I've not really got much else to say. It's going to be another short one, I think. I mean, I was, uh, I was listening yesterday to something last night when I went to bed, and I've got no idea what they're on about yet, so it's going to take me a few more times of listening to it. Hadionic or something? Hadionic? Hademic? Hademic? Hademic something or other it was. I don't know, I don't know what they're on about, but... It's, it's from the same guy that reads the other books about aliens, so we'll see where that's going, and I'll report on that in a day or two. Um, yeah, the um, that's it, really. I've not really got much else to say. If you can, go and find Red Pod Arts on Facebook. Give them a like. It's my takeover day on there today, um, before the exhibition and that. This will be my last one. So I've, I've done a post on there. There'll be another post this afternoon. Um... That's it, really. Nothing, nothing really daft to say. Nothing weird, you know. I've not, I've not noticed anything. I've not really thought about much, as I say. I was thinking this morning. The cat's just freaked itself out. I was thinking this morning, how many legs is too many legs for something? Like people don't like spiders because they've got eight legs and they find that creepy. Yeah, a fly. That's okay because it's a fly and it flies, but it's got six legs. And a centipede is kind of cool because it's got, well, it looks like it's got loads of legs, but I think a lot of them are fake. I think they've only actually got some at like 13, 14 sets of, sets of pairs. Well, 14 pairs of legs, and then the rest of them are all sort of connected and they all move at once, like that one moves and it brings them. And that's all one movement. But I could be making that up. But they're not seen as creepy, even though they can fucking, they can kill people. Like a giant centipede's got enough de like their poison or venom in it to kill a toddler. That's fucked. Uh, and people have them, like in the, uh, I'm guessing, the Philippines, maybe. Uh, wherever they are, anyway, wherever they're from. But, uh, you know, uh, why? Why? Who's found out as well that's got the, 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 the venom to kill a toddler? Is that, they kept finding toddlers. Could that be what cot death is, like over here in the UK? Maybe we've got some form of tiny, tiny little centipede that is uh, not invisible. You know, that'd be mental. But it might be just minuscule. And it bites your baby and then, you you know, his baby's gone. See, look, there was one of them glowing things going past my head again there. Might be onto something. That could be one of the centipedes. That could be the little centipede that's thinking, oh, fucking peckish for toddler. And do they eat the toddler when they've bit it? Do they eat it? Probably not. I mean, it's a bit dark to be thinking about dead babbies and that at the time. Whatever time it is, 11 in the morning, half 10 in the morning. So we'll uh, we'll take a side step from that. But, what? alright, here's a question. What do you think would be the worst animal to kill you? What would be the worst animal to get killed by? Statistically, the most likely animal to kill you in the UK is a cow. I've learnt that from the book I'm writing at the minute. Um, 
or a deer. Deer are actually fucking deadly little bastards. There's more road traffic accidents caused by deer than anything else in the UK, like creature-wise. But we actually probably kill more flies and that than we kill anything else just by driving. So that's something against vegans. Vegans and environmentally friendly people and climate change fanatics are like, oh, you know, use public transport, uh, use a bicycle. I mean, base bicycles, yeah, but then you could say you've got a tandem and then there's two of you killing flies. But on a, on a bus or a coach or something, or even on a train, mate, trains are going at, what, like 70 miles an hour and they're ramming down the tracks and all. I think about all the little flies and bugs, man, that are in the way, the little grasshoppers and shit in the way. They're going to just get splattered across the front of that train. That's why they've got window wipers. I mean, it, it helps in the rain, but they don't really need it in the rain, so they can still see where they're going. But it, it'll scrape off the bugs in it from the glass. But if you look, go and look on your, go for a long drive, and then if you say if you're a kid, don't don't be doing that. Go on a long drive with your parents or guardian or someone you trust. And then um, when you get out of the car, go and have a look at the front of the car and look at all the dead bugs that are on your bonnet and that and on your number plate. And and vegans, mate, vegans are doing it by their thousands, man, going on buses, going on trains. Uh, climate change people, I mean, I mean, really, realistically, how many animals can an aeroplane kill? An aeroplane can probably kill maybe one goose, and then that will kill maybe 300 people on the plane, which could crash into, you know, a school, a hospital, a prison, and then you've got, like, prisoners running free, and then them prisoners could escape, and then they're fucking, they're off killing people, so that aeroplane's killed one goose, though. Only one animal's died, unless there's been some mentalist who's been locked away for, like, fucking killing dogs and cats and that, and skinning them and fucking wearing them as masks, but that's very unlikely. The, um, so on a bus, though, you, thousands and thousands of flies killed daily by buses. And I reckon that's a fact. I've made it up off the top of my head, but I reckon it's a fact. Round the world, at least, at least a thousand flies a day killed by public transport. And what, what the flies do, what, what, flies spread disease and that, yeah, but they must do something else. They feed the birds, they feed the thrushes, which feed the foxes, which feed possibly badgers, which... I don't think anything eats badges, but I mean badges are bad for airplanes as well. They they always trying to climb through the airport back in Manchester apparently, and they they climb over the fences and they kept putting higher and higher fences up to help and stop them getting under the runways. So they're dangerous. So maybe it is a good thing to kill all the flies with public transport because then there's less badges trying to break into Manchester Airport. But I don't know. I don't know if really if that's how you can look at it. I mean, is it is that the way to look at it? I mean, what what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, innit? Like, do you do you think that's the that's the best way to to combat climate change is by going on public transport to kill all the flies to stop the badges, because then the aeroplanes are less likely to crash because there's no badges on the runway. It's a possibility, but I don't think that's what they'll be going for. I I think they more so think, oh, it's fossil fuels and this and that, and you got like fossil fuels that are fossil fuels are just old dinosaurs anyway, so they're dead animals. So I don't understand what the problem is. Why, why is it an issue? I mean, I might be getting vegans, might not give a shit about climate change. I just sort of throw them all in the pit together because they're the people that keep having seem, seem to be having to dig at me. But are they related though? Can you, is there a link? I know I've mentioned it before about the link between veganism and, and climate change and how like super farms and that might be trying to use the vegan movement in order to be able to say, well, we need to grow more soya in that and and that means we control more land and then the portals from Atlantis or whatever might come up through the ground and, you know, like the fucking Freddy Krueger hand and they come out from the underworld and the, the aliens or whatever. See, there's one of them glowing things again. We're on we're on the right tracks. We, um, one of the, you know, and they come up from the underworld and then the, the farm, the super farm, the government or whatever, controls that then and they can, they can keep an eye on it. Like the episode of South Park with the goo backs and the time travellers and that. What if that's what they're waiting for? For the time travellers to come back and they're like, oh, we knew we were going to come back at this point. Because, you know, you, we'd been told about this before. I mean, they're not going to come back to fight like Terminators and that. I wouldn't have thought. But, I, or to get jobs. They're not going to be doing that. But, just a, it was just a little thought. I just, you know, I fucking got to thinking then. I, I wasn't, none of this was really planned or anything. I mean, when I'm looking down there, I'm literally just looking at a windowsill. So um did yeah, let me know let me know what you think. Let me know what you think if it's, you know, public transport does kill more animals or yeah, if um we should be trying to stop the badges from getting into the airport. Just just let me know your thoughts on it all. I'll uh, I'll see you in a bit.